Hey, Gail here from Okie Bites, and I'm here again with Kelly, my daughter, and we are going to review some uh, Scandinavian treats. Thank you. You're I was thinking, uh, where are these from? <laughs> yeah, Scandinavian <laughs> treats. It's a part of Sweden and Norway. Norway. These were sent by uh, a cousin of mine, Sherry. Thank you for the treats. We love trying things from different countries. Ooh. It's so neat. And I apologize if I have a red eye. I just knocked myself in the eye a minute ago with my own jacket. And so it is burning. It's on fire. I'm not even eating hot chips and I'm on fire. So we have some fortune cookies. Which, uh, I've never heard of these before. Ole and Lena, I'm assuming is the name. Fortune cookies, we're gonna be trying those. We're gonna be trying Lars Swedish Ginger Snaps, richly spiced. We have some traditional Icelandic chocolate. I'm looking forward to that. Icelandic I never say no to chocolate. And here is a Dame Crunchy Caramel Candy Bar. Looking forward to that too. What I'm not looking forward to is licorice. Mm. <laughs> not a big licorice fan, but I'm gonna take one for the team. These are Nordic Sweets. It's salty licorice fish. And, and then we also have some Swedish forest fairies. I can't imagine these would be too bad. No, they just no, they actually sound fairy. okay. So I think we're gonna save those for last. You know, I don't want it to taint my taste buds for the the whole rest of the stuff so i would recommend also doing the ginger snaps near the end because i feel they're like they're going to be strong yeah so let's start with the uh fortune cookies they'll probably be the most Sounds grand good. and it looks like instead of fortunes there are jokes on these oh i can always use a good joke <laughs> fortune cookie for kelly fortune cookie for moi I always there pop my fortune cookies before I open them. Oh, wow. I won't tell you what we used to always do with our fortune cookies, but anyway, we used to add words at the end of the fortune. Oh, is what everybody does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't really have a smell. Mm -mm. See what mine says. Lena asked Ole, Ole why he was wearing wet pants. It said wash and wear on the label. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Lena called to Ole on the other bank of the river. How do you get to the other side? Ole replied, you are on the other side. <laughs> wow, I never really thought about that. You are always on the other side. <laughs> I'm gonna remember these. Oh man. See what they taste like. I'm not a big fan of uh, fortune cookies. And this tastes pretty much like your average fortune cookie. It's got that slight butter. Vanilla -y mm -hmm. flavor. Not too hard. It's the lighter, no. crispier ones, which I like. I don't like yes. super hard Some ones. of them about want to break your teeth. So yeah, if you want to add some new jokes to your repertoire, get the Ole and Lena fortune cookies. All right, up next. We're gonna do the Dame Crunchy Caramel Candy Bar. I love candy bars. Ooh, it reminds me of a score. Have you had a score mm -hmm. toffee bar? That's what it looks like. Oh, I could have shown what the candy bar looks like. Mmm, it smells good. Smells like traditional caramel mm. chocolate. Mm-hmm. Smells like milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, jumped on the caramel. <laughs> Please first. hold. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's good. It definitely tastes more like a toffee to me than me too. It's not a soft caramel. It's definitely a. It is the exact consistency of a score candy bar, which is toffee. Mm -hmm. That's tasty. 
Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about those candy bars is they get stuck in my teeth. Always carry a toothpick. Mm hmm. Ooh. And a glass of water in my mom's case. That's right, for those that get choked. <clears throat> I think I inhaled at the wrong time. Oh. I just realized that this is toffee. Mm. This is toffee Icelandic sea salt milk chocolate. This looks like a very thick. It's two. Oh, two stacked together? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I thought the same thing as well. You too can have a thick candy bar if you stack them on top of each other. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Looks like it broke. And it's stuck. Look at the difference in the color of chocolate. It's a lot lighter. It's 33% cacao. If you want more, you can have it. Oh, this is fine. in little squares. <clears throat> mm. Okay, I like their chocolate. That is very tasty. Creamy. Salty. Salty. Mm -hmm. And with the toffee, it balances it out. And I like it because it's bits of toffee instead of a layer of toffee, so it doesn't get stuck in your teeth quite like the other one did. I give this a 10. Icelandic chocolate is very good. Yeah. I actually honeymooned in Iceland and we tried various chocolates and their flavors are very on point. That is spot on. Very genuine. Nothing very, like very you good. would see here in America. Mm. Oh, if you have a chance to try chocolate from Scandinavia, go for it. And actually, if you have a world market near you that is a chain store, they do sell Icelandic chocolate there. I've seen it. Mm. That, man, the salt really mm -hmm. comes through on that. I love that. Sweet and salty. Salt. Yeah, mm. sugar. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ginger snaps. Now, ginger snaps is not something I have very often. All my stuff needs to come with instructions. There's a pull tab that I can't pull. If something's childproof, I'm not going to be able to get into it. Nope. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to snap these cookies. Now ginger snaps are crispy cookies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Oh. Ooh. Smells, smells like good. smells like homemade pumpkin bread. Ooh, it does kinda, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's yeah, really it's... good. Very thin. Mmm. Oh, but crisp. Very light. I was afraid it was gonna be hard to bite into, but it does. I've had ginger cookies before that were hard to chew. Mm -mm. Oh, this this would be great with ice cream. Milk. Oh. Mm. And the spice isn't too strong either. It's mm -mm. definitely there, mm -hmm. but it's not too strong, which is nice. I've had ginger cookies before that were way too strong. I really like that. Mm -hmm. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. What are those ginger cookies you get on the airplane? Biscoff. But they're not, what I'm, no, they're that's not, not ginger. What I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of something else, but mm. the texture is so amazing on these. That is really good. Mm -hmm. It's way Very better than crisp. I expected. Yes. Really good. Mm. I'd have to give those a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Definitely. The chocolate, definitely 10 out of 10. Fortune cookie for me has to be about 6 out of 10, 5 out of 10. Only because I'm not a big fan of fortune cookie flavor. It doesn't have much flavor to me. But the jokes, 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, that leaves. Do we do the berry first or the black licorice? We do the berry first. Okay. 
we're gonna we're gonna save that. Nordic sweets. These are the licorice. Or I guess these are like gummy. Yeah, I think they're just like gummy. This is gummy. Take your vitamins. <laughs> Yeah, they look like little berries. I'm gonna try more than one. Yeah, I was gonna try more than one flavor. They smell fruity. Definitely gummy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not very good at gummy people. Um Hmm. Pretty strong in flavor. Mm hmm Definitely, definitely not bland. It doesn't taste too artificially sweet. No. It's the darker one. Tastes almost like a fruit juice. They get softer as you <clears throat> chew them. They're actually not bad. 45 minutes later. Almost got it down. <laughs> They're not bad. I liked the darker one better. I did too. Um, Which I'm assuming would be like blackberry. Probably. Probably blackberry, raspberry, and I don't know what the lighter. Hmm. So if you don't like gum, an alternative is gummy candy. You chew and chew and chew. They're pretty flavorful though, I have to admit. I don't eat that much gummy candy, so I can't really compare to American. Oh, they're forest berries, by the way. Oh, forest berries. What would you give it? Six or seven? I'd probably give it a five. By the way, while I'm getting this down, Kelly has on an hoodie. Yes, I do. Yes, that's like hoodie without the H. Hoodie. <laughs> no, we're not sponsored. Nope. But if you ever want to check it out, these things, it's, ha it's blanket plus like a poncho. It has sleeves. <laughs> it's perfect. It's very comfortable. Very soft. <laughs> <laughs> You can call it your pet. <laughs> okay. Now we're to our last one. We're done, right? <laughs> black licorice. Who out there likes black licorice? I've never been able to get a liking for black licorice. Literally a mini game I used to play on the internet. Uh, it was called click a -Majig. This was a Nickelodeon website of little mini games. And there was a game called Black Licorice. And little kids would come to the door trick or treating. And if you gave them black licorice, they would get demonized with little horns above their heads and start <laughs> screeching about how they hated black licorice. And, I mean, I was no angel as a child, but I definitely don't like black licorice. Isn't black licorice have anise in it? Star anise? It just says licorice. Carnauba wax. Cooking oil. Mm. Mm. Isn't that car wax? Uh oh. All right. Time to be brave. Here we go. Oh man, I'm big. <laughs> have a fish. <laughs> Swedish fish. <laughs> Don't smell it has a very strong odor. <laughs> I would eat an anchovy more than I would eat one of these. I'm just gonna eat a bite. I'm not sticking the whole thing in my mouth. Oh, come on. Really, the whole thing? Yeah. Oh God. Take one for the team. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, 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 no. That's not fair, she left camera. No. That no. has to be the nastiest taste on the earth. No, no. <laughs> it's actually salty. 
which surprises the heck out of me. And now Kelly's gonna talk. Oh, it, mm, oh. Um, it almost has like a fishy taste to it. And it's, okay, that did not taste like even black licorice. I've had black licorice before. Or I should say that does not taste like American black licorice. Here, we should it's, put another piece of chocolate. Oh, it's definitely salty. Very I, salty. I felt like I was eating something bitter with like soy and fish it's oil. It's hard to believe that there's <laughs> sugar in this because I would have to give that a one. Mm. A one out of ten. You give me a negative five. Yeah, that's probably one of the worst things that we've tasted. So stick with the sweetest chocolate. Ginger snaps, really, really good. Mm -hmm. And the fortune cookies weren't bad. So all in all, thanks Sherry, that's an experience I won't forget in quite a while. <laughs> nope. Anybody want some black fish, let me know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Gail and Kelly here with Okie Bites and <sighs> man, I'm still trying to get over it. It's still in my mouth. I'm yeah. trying to, I'm trying not to think about it. So everybody out there, have a wonderful day and be kind to each other. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.